Hey everyone. So, I thought I would go over my Neo 2 setup, and the build that I chose to run, so in this game, the armor sets I found, you know, you really kind of want to start first with what kind of roll do you want. So that's going to bracket you into, you know, a certain amount of stat allocation towards making the armor lighter, the roll lighter, like it is in Dark Souls. Once you kind of decide on which, if you want to do really agile, since it'll be somewhat limiting the armor sets that you'll get to choose from. Uh, I went with a lighter armor set, so I wanted to be under 30% threshold. Um, in Dark Souls, I'm usually in the medium roll, under 70%. And in this game, I ended up trying a ninjutsu build first, and so I was on the lighter side of the sets with the Flying Kato set, and I ended up mixing it up. Now the reason that you want to start with just the, um, the lightness first is because essentially with the armor sets, all of the different roles that you're going to be able to temper are really what is going to be defining um, the effectiveness of the armor so you'll be able to slot a lot of the same types of things you'll be able to modify a damage of one of your um, attack abilities so you know you can start there I, I started with the flying kato set and went from there you can see right now um, this is the this is the loadout that I decided on And first off, I'll start with the weapons. Uh, I use the Cursor Gami when I'm out there, and this is for the set bonus. You'll see that uh, the oh, L2. There you go. So I've got the Tactician's Ingenuity, so I needed to use the sword. I was originally using a katana in the beginning, so. Uh, it wasn't too bad to have this on there. It's really fun using the katana in general. But ultimately for DPS I went with the Cursor Gamma. Now this Cursor Gamma I had on here for the extended Yokai abilities, looking to pair it with as many of these as I can, because this thing makes it so it's minus one set bonus. So you can have just one of a set and it'll count it as two. So that's an example of what I did right here. So that reduced my Yokai abilities. Same here, I just wanted to get some set bonuses going. Now, this build is a poison, it's essentially a poison build, poison in jitsu. Is that a good, good enough description? Yeah, it's like a poison jujitsu anima gain build. You're gonna capitalize on the high stance of Tenjin, you're gonna be using the Atakamaru soul, so you wanna build up to the anima cost of 10 and then use it. And, you know, the snake, this is in here because it's got melee damage versus poison enemy. We wanna stack as much of that as we can. This is in here because it was a small cost and then it has a, a bunch of good bonuses that are effective to us. So, in the rest of the set, you wanna stack as much poison uh, poison enemies take more melee damage. Now this Coiled Snake Helmet is a great addition. You can swap out a helmet piece. Now I went with the Legendary Strategist Garb. It's got decent stats that are benefiting me as far as damage goes. You're going to be kind of strapped for set bonuses depending on the weapon. There's a nice seer, spear bonus we uh, set. You know, really the sets are going to be coming out of what weapons you're pairing up with that. Um, you can also untether it to the weapon and have a full set of armor here and then swap out the weapon. You know, there's different ways that you can combine this use, utilizing the Yasakani Magatama. Okay, anyway, so you can sort of see how I've slotted all of the items in Jitsu Power. Untouched New Jitsu makes it so that when you use an Injitsu move, it does not consume that charge. Very important. Want to go attack on the gloves. Crimson Flurry is my main ability with the Cursor Gamma, so I'm going to be using the uh, increased Crimson Flurry damage. 
ninjutsu power, running speed. I was originally a ninjutsu build. So right now, now take a look at this. Both of these are spec the same way, where it's going to be melee damage versus poisoned enemy, 24.9% point, accumulation, poison, life drain on ninjutsu, damage over time. All these are benefiting us. Anima Charge is an anima gain build, so I went with the anima charge Mag Magatama. I think these can go up higher too than plus three, but this is where I'm at right now. Poison enemy. So we're stacking as much as that poison accumulation. Poison enemy melee damage increase as we can. And it starts really starting to inflate that damage. Um, now, as far as the moves that I've got, quick change scroll, poison shuriken, poison uh, for my blade. Now, the poison shuriken is a almost guarantee that you're going to get the um, poison on the enemy. Now, the rest of this is just buff. This is my back buff bar. So, this is key recovery and it uh, cleanses yokai. This is for anima generation. This is so that when you hit the enemy, you're going to be leeching the Amrita, which is how you get access to the Tenjin buff when you're in high stance. So you have to be in high stance, and then you have to absorb Amrita, which is the souls, or the currency. Um, you can control that by this buff to yourself, because every hit that you'll be doing will be giving you back Amrita. So it'll give you the damage buff. Huge damage buff. Stacks with all the other damage buffs. Uh, Rejuvenation Talisman just gives you a nice regen. Okay, so... Now let's take a look at... Okay, I use 10 gen. The other one... For the secondary, I use Hakato Taku. Just because it's got the phantom damage, I'm gonna be in the phantom. Phantom Guardian Spirit. So, as far as skills go... Um, for the Cursor Gamma... And I'll, I'll have screenshots of this. Essentially, I just went with all the passives. Buffed up the one move that I am going to do. Crimson Flurry. Take Waxing Crescent. Wait a minute. This one. Metal Weight. And I'll have screenshots de more detailing this, but this is sort of what it looks like. Just taking as many as damage passive ones as you can. And Samurai. Again, I'll have screenshots of this. Going in regeneration of Amoyo, or the uh, Anima. It's pretty complex. I'll, I'll, I'll go through this more in detail um, as I type it out, and you can sort of see which ones are important. There's really no reason to talk. I mean, most of these are self-explanatory. You'll be filling these out as you go through. And oh, maybe in the, the Nujitsu and Magic. So sort of just went in here just with what I needed and I already linked with I already linked earlier um, which ones I've got slotted all right so yeah and these are just up to you how you want to this is what I've got for cursor gamma switching up some different elements in there all right so stats boom Level 300, there's my stats. Damage can go up higher, you can spec more into damage. This is more of a well-rounded setup. All right, so maybe I should go in and do some bosses first. So first I'll just lead off with um, the most, the famous farm. Oh wait, I'm not even in the right area. Now the famous farm is here, so you go to uh, Calamity's Pulse, yeah. I'll go in real quick, take it out for a spin, and I have a bunch of other gameplay. I'll try and piece it together. It's a little bit harder. It's different for me to put them together from the PS4, but it's definitely something I can do. All right. Get my haven't played in a little. Okay. 
Okay. Good. They might as well just go in there and see how it goes. First boss, snake boss, doesn't really get affected by poison, so... Uh-oh. We're rusty. Oh, I just completely missed. How do I heal? Oh yeah, it's up. There we go. Just stay still. Okay, so I'll do that on Moyo or the, uh, the lightning can. No, 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 it's gonna grip me. You got it. All right, I haven't played in the month, so. Oh, but I just figured I would. Uh... All right, so buff that again. Buff that again. That guy. Boom. Okay, this is the hard. One. This is the hard guy. First, I gotta poison him. Come on. Yeah, I think he's poisoned. Going for him. Oh, I'm not targeting on him. Why am I not hitting him? That was the sloppiest one I've ever done. Barely completed. All right. I'm gonna leave. Okay, I'm gonna come right back in. See, I haven't played in a month, so that was one warm-up. Maybe I should do one of the other ones. Winds of Ruin. Got here. Okay, I'm just gonna dive in. Diving in. Diving in. They want to fight. Whoa, bro. Oh, don't you me, 
Hey, that worked out pretty good. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can just like grab them in and then they get stunned. That's how I kill the revenants. Oh, this guy. This guy. No! He's got a Curse of Gama, too! No! No! There we go. Got him, got him, got him. You're dead. You're dead, old man. Later. No! 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 Got him. Whoa! Oh, he was almost one shot. Now he's leaving. Okay. Got him. Come on. Whoa. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He doesn't even know what hit him. Next. Oh, you got, didn't even have a chance. Did not even have a chance. Dead. What can I say? Look at all this loot. Look at all this loot! Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh look at that. Yeah, I guess the strategy for those humanoid guys, you can just do a long lunge and then queue up Crimson. Crimson Flurry move. Guys, fashion looks sweet. Thank you. I accept. It's legit. Alright, so I'll see if I can clip together some other, like, random gameplay videos. That was just an impromptu, haven't played in a month or two. Actually, it was after, yeah, it's been about a month or two. Whenever it came out, that's when I first played. Alright, well, thanks for joining me. I'll include links and stuff for my Neo build, the Neo gameplay. Uh, it's been on my PS4, so I'll see if I can port a couple over videos just to watch. Neo, is, Neo 2 is a fantastic game. A lot of fun. Had a great time playing through. Thanks for joining me.